Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, guys, today I'm going to look at an issue on uh, Windows 10. Of course, um, in my case, it was with my laptop. You could also have my desktop as well. And it's basically where um, the Windows 10 update broke my um, PC or my computer. Or in other words, the USB port started um, stopped working after the Windows 10 update. Now, of course, as you can see here, guys, I do have my laptop, but it's connected to a monitor. Ah, and of course, what the issue was, guys, with Windows 10 is that due to um, a long-term um, issue, I had this message pop up on screen. I'll show you the message somewhere around here. But of course, in the meanwhile, I'll just read out the message to you guys. And the message read, guys, restart and update to stay in support. And it says support for Windows 10 April 2018 update ends on November 2019. And of course, I'm just um, explaining right here that um, I had updated my Windows for a while. And of course, it seemed to only add the April update of 2018. And of course, it says restart to install supported version of Windows. After update, I not, um, noticed that, of course, um, several things were happening and my PC was not behaving like it should. Um, first of all, guys, um, it's always recommended that you do install the latest updates but of course be careful as sometimes it can cause um, errors as this article will our video will show you how to deal with issues such as the one that i was having so instantly guys i noticed right away my wireless keyboard was not working anymore of course i thought it was the keyboard itself i thought it was a sub driver issue i tried to download some drivers for it which was not needed before it did not work Later on, I realized that my phone was not uh, was also not being read. Later on, I noticed my phone was not being read. So I then noticed that it was definitely not uh, my keyboard, but of course the USB port, as it was just charging my device such as the phone, but I could not remove files from my um, device. Next thing I um, realized that there might be other issues as well. So what I had to do, guys, was I tried to go ahead and check out Device Manager. It shows that all my drivers were installed and should be working, but of course they were not as my uh, USB port was actually dead and I couldn't use it as normal. And of course, you know that for a PC, that's just not uh, going to work at all if you do not have USB access. So what I had to do, guys, was this. So if you're having this particular issue or something similar, where after update, your um, PC is not working as it should, such as USB or peripherals, such as USB base are not working. The first thing you want to do is just this all right so what i did was um i just went ahead and i went to search and then i went to windows windows um update settings that's that one right there and of course once it loads I noticed that it showed that I um, had updated, but of course I've already fixed it on this PC, so you'd have to bear in mind that some of these settings might change. Then what I did next, guys, was view update history. And once I was here, I went into um, recovery options. Once I was in uh, recovery options, Next thing I did, guys, was there were um, three um, options. Right now, there is only um, about two. But of course, for you, it should be that there is at least two. Because um, for me, um, I had an update prior to this. So then, therefore, there was a, another option here that says I should restore my, um, my Windows to a previous version or before this current update. So what I did was just to simply... So what I did, guys, as I said, it's not here now, but of course, there should be a recovery option to go to a previous version before the update. Um, you should just read the subtext beneath the main heading that shows uh, restore option. And of course, once you say restore now, what is going to happen is that the PC is just going to ask you, why are you doing this? You can just basically tell it that um, some um, changes has basically stopped, um, prevented the app or device from working. That is your case. And then just hit restore. And of course, it took quite a while probably about um, 10 to 15 minutes once you're done you'll re uh, revert it back to the previous version that was stable and working and of course once i did that i was back to another version of windows um, 10 that was an earlier build that was much more stable and didn't have the issues that the updated one had um for the future guys what i do um 
advises that make sure that your antivirus is up to date, seeing that you're on an outdated version of Windows. Um, there might be vulnerabilities that you do not know of. And of course, that's why Windows is actually telling you to update. But of course, if it's broke, breaking your PC, that's even worse. So what I do is that I would advise you to wait another month or two. Then, of course, update your PC to the um, latest, newest edition. Hopefully, it's updated version to the current one that's giving issues. And hopefully, by then, it will fix your issue. And of course, then you can actually enjoy the update without the bugs that you might be facing, such as with me where my keyboard or USB peripherals were not working. All right, guys? So that is how I was able to fix this issue with my Windows um, 10 update. Basically, broke my PC, or basically, it stopped my USB port from working. And, of course, no device were working. All right, guys, we got to go down for block tech tips. And that's the quick tips showing you how to deal with um, Windows updates causing issues on your PC. All right, guys, we got to go down the same way. Until next time, bye.